Hi, this is Laurie. I just found out that they have the new update for the Gypsy and it now works with the Design Studio. I haven't updated mine. I thought I would do that in a little video. What you do is you go to Cricut.com, you go into Products, go to Cricut Design Studio Software, and on the left hand side it's going to say Design Studio Home and all of this and then you're going to go to download Design Studio Updates. Okay, let's start the download. I'm going to run it. It says it's only going to take 22 seconds. Be sure that you do not have your Design Studio open when you are downloading updates. Let's run it. Okay, welcome to the wizard. I agree. Install. Okay, finished. Woohoo! So I'm going to go and I'm going to open it up. Okay. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm going to get my gypsy. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to update my gypsy. I'm going to turn it on and I had mine in standby mode. I keep it like that quite a bit. And I'm doing this one-handed. So let's see how coordinated I am. Okay. So my computer dinged. Yay. And then so I've got the design studio up. I'm going to go to All Programs, Gypsy Sync, and I'm going to sync the Gypsy. And it's checking for updates, and what it's going to do is it's going to run through that. It's going to tell me your Gypsy will turn off on its own when it's done. Something like that. And it's also going to tell me do not turn off the Gypsy, so... I will not do that, and I'll be back in a minute. Yay, it's done. Okay, it took a little under 10 minutes, and this window came up on its own. It's the Gypsy Sync. And right here you can open up, click on Designs, and it'll have the names, the size, the date. Um, if I want to click on a file and then save it to my PC it gives me the memory and then here if I want to update a file to the gypsy okay what I want to do is go back into design studio and I want to open a file for each of the files you have to change right now they're Cricut cut files and we would need to change it to Gypsy Cut Files. I'm trying to find something. I've got so many fun things. This looks crazy fun. Okay, this is called Number Mesh, and I found it online. A lot of these I found online free. Some I've created myself. Anyway, isn't that fun? Just all kinds of connected. Mm, you know what? I don't have all those cartridges. Okay, so let's open up a different one. Da, 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 da. Let's, let's open that. Oh, I am a nutcase. Okay, where I thought I had this on this project, but I did not. So that other 
one that I first one that I pulled up, I probably could have cut that. But it was showing all the cartridges, and I don't own every cartridge. So okay, that's what's gonna. It's like a little card. So okay, go to file, go save as. It's gonna pull this screen up. And you want to make sure that right here, save as type, it says all files. Just click right there. You can change the name. Right now it still says scallop round card. I'm going to keep it the same and just put dot gypsy. So I'm saving it as a gypsy cut file. And then save. Then you go back into your gypsy sync option. And down here, upload files and it pulls up your projects scallop round card gypsy I wanna open that it does a little bit of a flash and there it is now it is on my gypsy now super cool so excited now let's see if it cuts it okay now I've got my gypsy hooked up to the Cricut I've got it in standby mode I want to open a new file, so I'm going to open, I'm going to go down, okay, scallop round card, okay, and I just want to cut it. I'm not sure what it's going to do. There's like, that is so cool. Okay, let's load the mat. Oh, yes, I do want to update it. Guess what? We've got to go through the whole update process again. So I might not get to cut anything today. Okay. Updating your Cricut Part 1. I will be back after I've completely updated. If you've got any questions about updating, I do have another video on my website entitled updating your cricket with your gypsy or something or other and so refer to that I'm gonna update my cricket and then I'll be back to cut this card out okay now I have successfully updated it congratulations it said and I'm going to load the mat and then I'm gonna cut it so let's go load mat and then cut this is my first everything's okay my first cut that was a design studio file I moved to my gypsy and now my Cricut is cutting it out what this is going to enable people to be able to do now is share files online back and forth between design studios and we can move them to the gypsy so that we can have them to take to crops or whatever and share. I mean this would have been much easier obviously I had this on my design studio I had my computer hooked up I could have just went ahead and cut it out but what fun would that be so now we're cutting this out with the gypsy and now it's on my gypsy, so I can cut this out anywhere I go. Okay, cutting is complete. Cutting is complete. Unload mat. How cute is that? Just the cutest thing ever. And then there's the, I could have done, I should have put that in a different color. But okay, I like it. So now you know how to put files on your gypsy and cut them. And yay, it worked. And I hope that helps someone. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. You can visit me at hidinginmycraftroom.com. Thanks. Have a great crafting day.